Welcome to MacSpace, where we peel back the layers of deception to reveal the shocking truth behind some of the most notorious fraudsters. From high-stakes scams to heartless hustlers, we expose the masterminds behind the schemes that left victims in financial ruins and how the long arm of the law is catching up with them. Ready to uncover the truth? Let's get into it. Three men are on the run for allegedly defrauding Echo Bank, one of Nigeria's biggest banks, out of a staggering $42 million. How did they pull off this scam? The accused men are Prem Gang, Davin Shish Gang, both Indian citizens, and Marcus Wade, a British man. Apparently, in 2015, these three men approached Echo Bank with a legitimately looking business proposal. They claimed to need a loan of $42 million to import parboiled rice from India to Nigeria. The bank, believing in the potential of this deal, granted the loan. But here is where the alleged scam comes into play. Since the money was disbursed, there have been no evidence to suggest that any rice was actually imported. The men vanished with the money. Eventually, the matter came to light and the Attorney General of the Federation filed charges against these three men. When they failed to appear in court, a bench warrant and extradition order was immediately issued. Now, these three men are on the run, with the Interpol likely on their trail. The question remains, where are they now and will they ever face justice for this alleged multi-million dollar scam? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Or, what do you think? Do you think these guys will eventually be caught and face justice? Put it down in the comment section. In Texas, USA, one Kolade Akinwale Ojilade has pleaded guilty to defrauding homeowners and real estate companies out of millions of dollars. Akinwale's operation was centered around the technique called man in the middle fishing. He targeted real estate businesses, hacking into their email accounts. His goal was to intercept wire transfer instructions for property deals. Once he had access, Akinwale would monitor email traffic, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When a large sum of money was about to be wired, he would swoop in. Using spoofed email addresses that looked identical to the original senders, Akinwale would subtly alter the wire transfer instructions, diverting the money to accounts controlled by him and his criminal partners. The scale of this operation was so large that he raked in millions of dollars, but eventually, he was arrested in the UK in February 2023 and extradited to the United States to answer for his crimes. Now, Koladi Akinwale Ojilade faces up to 32 years in prison. After serving his sentence, he will be subject to deportation. Tell me, do you think 32 years in prison is just too harsh a sentence for the crime Akinwale committed? We head to Nasarawa State in Nigeria. Where one Shuaibu Isiaka, a 58 years old man, also known as Zico, was arrested for defrauding an innocent contractor out of millions of naira. According to the police, Zico lied to his victims that he had connections with the governor and could secure a lucrative government contract. In some instances, Zico just outrightly impersonated the state's executive governor just to lure in his victims. One unfortunate man who was undoubtedly desperate fell prey to Zico's fraudulent tactics. The man paid Zico 17 million naira in the hope of securing the government contract. But the man's dream turned into a nightmare when it became clear that the promised contract was nothing but a scam. And so, the police was immediately alerted to the crime. Now, Shuaibu Isiaka, aka Zico, has confessed to the crime, but he claims that the amount involved is 14 million naira, not 17 million naira, as alleged by the victim. Regardless of the exact amount involved, Zico will face the consequences of his actions once investigations are completed. Beware, scams like this are becoming increasingly common. You have to remain vigilant and avoid falling prey to these criminals. And that's it guys, thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed today's story, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more true crime tales. Comment below and let me know which case you'd like us to cover next or share your thoughts on today's story. See you in the next video. Remember, stay safe.